As Ida moves north into southern New England, as you just heard Tony say, we are expecting several inches of rain. But how will this storm compare to the one that wreaked havoc here in the state back in 2010, leading to this massive flooding? 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke with the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency and has more on what they are preparing to do. She joins us live now from Cranston. Brittany? Well, Mike, Kim, the rain has been falling on and off all day here in Cranston right now. The rain has stopped, but not for long. EMA says they are prepared for possible power outages and flash flooding. About 42 inches high. This is the watermark left on Silver Lake Ironworks Garage 16 years later. Owner Mike Nocera says the massive flooding left everything in his metal shop underwater. It just creates a mess and then you just got to clean it up. It makes your, your life a little bit worse than what it is. So. No, Sarah says the flooding happened all over again in 2010 when much of Rhode Island was swept with 16 inches of rain. This is video from our 12 News archive. Neighborhoods were left underwater, streets impassable, and businesses like the Warwick Mall forced to shut down. The Rhode Island Department of Emergency Management Agency tells me this storm will be nothing like 2010. This isn't the floods of 2010. Uh, we're expecting about uh, anywhere between three and five inches of rain, maybe six in some certain areas. Several municipalities, including Warwick and Rhode Island's Department of Transportation, have cleared storm drains ahead of Ida. EMA Director Mark Pappas says residents should also be cautious with expected flooding. Don't walk in any of the ponding that you see. You don't know what's under the water, uh, so that could be very dangerous. And the other thing we see is people trying to drive through. So if you come to an intersection or a road that appears to be flooded, don't go through it. It's just that simple. And Papa says the State Emergency Operations Center is not planning to open at this time. For now, live in Cranston, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Ida's remnants have caused damage and flooding far beyond the Gulf Coast. This is video from Pennsylvania where flooding has closed roads, knocked out power, and prompted the evacuations of thousands of people. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer talked to the head of the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency about what we should be doing here to get ready. She continues our team coverage now live from the EMA headquarters in Cranston. Brittany. Well, Mike, Kim, the EMA is expecting heavy rainfall to come down in a short period of time overnight. Director Mark Pappas is advising people to not drive or even walk through heavily flooded areas to keep safe. The Emergency Management Agency says Rhode Island should expect flash flooding and ponding with Ida overnight. The real issue for us is water. Uh, there are heavy, heavy rains in a, in a short amount of time. Water may come over the banks uh, and do some property damage. The EMA's map shows Silver Lake Ironworks in Cranston is in a floodplain. This is video from this past July of flooding on Fletcher Avenue where the business is located. Owner Mike Nocera says he has to prepare before every major rain event. You just get nervous. You just, there's not much you can do about it. Just prepare yourself. The custom metalsmith has built shelves and racks to put as much of his materials off the ground ahead of possible flooding. He has owned the business since 2003 and says he's no stranger to heavy rainfall. That, that's a 2005 watermark from the first time I got flooded. That's the, I mean, everything was on the water. The shop still has watermarks on the garage door from numerous flooding incidents. Nocera tells me he has made calls and gone to city meetings addressing the flooding issue on Fletcher Avenue, but nothing has helped. It just creates a mess and then you just got to clean it up. And it's a... Does it make anything rust? Oh, yeah. And it just makes you, you know, your life a little bit harder. In the EMA says flooding is their biggest concern, but power outages are also possible with strong wind gusts expected. For now, live in Cranston, I'm Brittany Shipper, 12 News.